Hello, this is Pastor Jones. Can I spend five minutes with you today? I want to talk to you about the church boneyard. Well, we find this in Ezekiel 37. The picture given there of all these dry bones in the valley. And the question is, can they live? Well, we're not going to preach a message on Ezekiel 37 today. But, as we look upon these bones, many of our modern congregations today are just as dry and dead as those bones were in the valley of Ezekiel. Let's note some of the names of these bones in our churches today that need a fresh touch from God. The first one is the wishbone church member or, or Christian. Tragically, they're too lazy to work. They bury their talents. They're like the ten spies that always find an excuse not to take the promised land. They're like Gideon's 22,000 that disregarded the enemy and knelt down and drank water without looking about to see if the enemy was lurking. The second one is the funny bone Christian or the funny bone church member. Always getting their feelings hurt. Some people walk around with their feelings on the cup of their sleeve, so easily offended. Always falling out with somebody in the church. The preachers to, called on to pamper them and beg them to show up. I hope you're not a funny bone church member. We see thirdly, the dry bone church member. They never say amen, never shed a tear, never raise a hand, never shout hallelujah. They're like, really, the Pharisee. They love the letter of the law, but cries down any emotion. They don't want to move the Holy Spirit. It makes them feel uncomfortable. Spiritually, this crowd is as dead as Ezekiel's boneyard. Oh, God, save us from that. And then we see the hip bone church member or Christian. Touchy about giving. They're kind of the hitchhiker type. They don't want to pay their tithes and offerings. They don't want to put their shoulder to the plow and help forward the kingdom. They don't want to volunteer for any type of ministry. They don't want, they don't want to serve God. The religion does not reach out of their hip pocket to help do anything to advance the kingdom. Tragically, we have way too many people like that. And folks, if you're one of them, you're not helping God's kingdom Move forward at all. And may God touch you and help you right now. Then there is that jawbone church member or Christian. We might call them the church tattler. Always sowing discord amongst the brethren. Always has an unkind word. Always gossiping about one thing or another. Simon Peter was somewhat like this in a way because he was always bragging. James warns us about gossiping. He said, the tongue is a world of fire. Let's not be jawbone Christians. Then we see the kneebone church member. That's the Wednesday night crowd. The praying type. The faithful type. The ones who will pay the price on their knees for revival. The ones that are faithful ones to the church whether it be Sunday morning or Sunday night or Wednesday night or prayer meeting, they're in there battling. They're in there fighting. They're in there trying to advance God's kingdom. Can I give you one more? The backbone Christian or church member. The Christian with real conviction. They're the Daniel type. They are like the Apostle Paul. They will stand for the faith once delivered unto the saints, whether it means to be stoned or whipped or beaten with rods or shipwrecked or whatever, they're going to get a job done for God. Or like Stephen, they will stand true unto the very end, even if it means the surrendering of their own life for the cause of Christ. Can I ask you something in this church boneyard? Which bone are you? And may God help us to be the right ones. I hope I'll give you something to think about. This is Pastor Jones saying God bless. Until I see you next time.